Dennis, I just want to tell you that we are blessed to be here together because last month we were playing poker Correct. and uh, we were at a gaming hotel and things were calm and smooth. I hear yelling and screaming. I look up and I look over the table in front of me and there you are sitting down and you probably don't remember this, but you went into seizure. Okay. In other words, you started jolting. So I come around, put my hand on your back and I said, you okay, Dennis, you still didn't hear me went on for maybe a minute or so. Then after that, I saw your head go forward. First thing I do is I check your pulse. You had no pulse. You were officially dead. So what we did, thank God people helped me put you on the ground. We started CPR. And as we started CPR, um, you were actually out for almost 11, 12 minutes. So during CPR, another uh, paramedic who was retired got the AED. We were able to hook that up on you and we shocked you a couple times, although still no heartbeat. We continued CPR. And then we see, I look up and here comes paramedics. And all of a sudden I see you, you got up out of a miracle. 12 minutes later, do you remember any of this during? No, nothing whatsoever. Nothing. Do you remember going into seizure? Do you remember, did you see any lights, any flashes, another part of life? Did you see anything that I should be aware of or anything you can tell me? Do you remember anything? Nothing whatsoever. So Dennis, here we are a month and a half later, perfectly normal. You had open heart surgery. They corrected five coronary arteries. Correct. Okay. You're feeling good again. You're blessed. You have no brain damage. You have, you told me you had four children, a beautiful wife. You've been married how long? Almost 51 years okay. this month. Your time is not up, Dennis. You are tremendously lucky and I feel tremendously blessed to, to make a friend, which is kind as you are with such a beautiful heart. But I want to, for our audience out there, because this is all about education. You did have symptoms, you told me. You told me two days prior to this, you fainted. Correct. And you fell to the floor. Correct. You got up and uh, you shook it off and you felt like maybe, you know, your sugar level dropped and you felt okay. Correct. And you told me that while you walked over the course of time, maybe the many months, you'd always get fatigued and tired. Yes. Anything else you could tell me? Any other symptoms that you had? I used to walk maybe 100, 200 feet. I would have to stop and I would always have a burning in my throat. Burning in the throat. Symptoms, common cardiovascular symptoms of blockage of the coronary arteries can be anywhere from crushing pain in the chest, which you never had. Correct, never okay. had any pain. Tingling, pain. numbness into an arm, into a jaw, difficulty breathing. As you had one of the symptoms, as you walked and as you prolonged, and as you stressed yourself, you felt very tired, fatigued. Yes. Okay. Common also is when a person sweats a lot, a person gets dizzy a lot, because you've told me you've gotten dizzy in the past. Have you not? Whenever I used to get up from a sitting motion, this is just a wake up call, Dennis, for people out there who have symptoms. And there's nothing more that I can recommend is to always get checked. Never ignore these symptoms that the power above is telling you because you're a very fortunate man, because if this would have happened an hour before or in your car or somewhere else, obviously you wouldn't be here talking right now. Agreed with you. So anything that you can say from this experience to people out there worldwide, when it comes to your health, when it comes to these symptoms that we're talking about, crushing pain, burning pain, radiating pain, difficulty, getting your oxygen in, dizziness, sweating, profuse sweating, even sometimes like indigestion or pressure that doesn't go away. Uh, what can you, what would you say after this experience? Thank God you're together with your family. Thank God you're, you're gonna live a normal life. Thank God you're gonna be healthy. What, what can we really, tell these people out there from your experience because you're the one that they're looking at not me you're the one they're looking at and this is a wake-up call hopefully for many people throughout the world be aware of when your body is telling you something believe it it's not just coming out of no man's land it's happening to you and if you feel fatigued or if you feel this or if you feel that just don't push it off the way I would push it off. Get some help, see what the problem is. Not just saying, ah, my body will cure itself, no big deal. It doesn't cure itself, obviously. Me, I feel 
I was reborn again. I feel better now than I've felt probably in 20, 30 years. You know why? Because you have oxygen. Oxygen that's getting to your heart, that's getting to the cells of your body. That was never getting there. And you are one very lucky man to go on this long the way you did because you were a walking time bomb. I agree with you 100%. This is definitely life transforming for both of us. Uh, where Dennis just became a new person. Um, my heart goes out to you, your family, your children, and I only wish you good health as well as you wishing you good health as well. Last words, Dennis. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate for you giving me a chance at Second Life, number one. And number two, Take care of yourself, people. Listen to your body. All right, Dennis. Give me a hug. Thank you.